Every now and then, an app comes along that just feels like complete magic, and you've no idea how it's working. This is one of those apps. Let me show you how Brickit works now. Okay, so if you're anything like me, you've probably got quite a large tub of Lego pieces lying around your house somewhere. And you've probably thought to yourself, hmm, I wonder what I can make with those. Well, this is the app that will show you not only what pieces you have, but also give you some suggestions on what to build. So, we're going to empty out the box of Lego onto the floor. As we spread the pieces out on the floor, remove any really large pieces or any models you've built already, such as this rather strange whale on wheels. Yeah, we'll get rid of that for now. When you've done that, try and flatten the Lego so it's about a single brick thick. You don't want to have it as a big pile, you want it spread out nice and thin, and then the app will work best. And then jump onto the Brickit app on your iPhone. Okay, from here we're just going to press Scan Bricks, and that will open up the camera straight away. I want to try and make sure all of my bricks are in the camera frame, and I want to do it between about 50 centimetres and a metre away from my Lego. Any further than that, and it might struggle to pick out the pieces. But then, you just take a photo. This is where the magic happens. The app is going to use something called machine learning to analyse that photo, and try and pick out as many pieces as it can. This really feels like magic, and whilst it's not 100% accurate, it is really, really good. For me, it's found over 1,000 Lego bricks straight away in that photo. From here, though, the really clever bit comes in, because now it's going to scan its database and find you some sets and ideas that you can build with those bricks. As you can see, it's actually found me 50 different sets to build. And as I scroll down that list, there'll be lots of ideas there that I can start creating using that Lego. You may need to be a little bit creative with colour choices, because it doesn't always match the colour to the shape of brick, but that can make some really fun creations too, like a green giraffe or a yellow elephant. When you found one you like, it will tell you how many pieces are missing to complete that build. For some models, you'll probably have all the pieces you need in your pile already, but sometimes it might say there are a few bricks not found. Don't worry though, you can use alternative bricks to complete that model in a slightly more custom and unique way. When you found one you like, tap onto it, and immediately you'll be brought up with these beautiful PDF pages of the instructions to build your model. But wait, there's something else which is equally as cool. At the bottom of that screen it will show you the pieces you need for that particular step, and if you tap onto that image of the piece, it will highlight on your photograph where those pieces were last seen. That means you can quickly and easily find those bits of Lego in and amongst the thousands of pieces on the floor. So that's a really quick guide to the Brickit app and how you can use it to use machine learning to analyse your Lego and suggest some builds for you. Yes, it's not 100% perfect, but it's really, really good. And to be honest, it gets you thinking creatively about what you can use your Lego for. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this app as well, so if you've given it a try on your iPhone, let me know in the comments down below if you think it's genius or a bit of a gimmick perhaps. And don't forget you can like and subscribe to my channel where there are loads more iPhone and iPad videos every single week. I'll see you next time.